What's poppin' people, it's King Devil 7th, and a bunch of Destiny 2 news has been leaked recently. So, what happened is, I guess somebody on a Reddit thread has posted a picture of the leaked Destiny 2 official guide. You know those guides that give you all the information on, like, how to finish certain missions and things like that, yada yada. Someone has leaked that information, and they've leaked exotic weapons, strikes, and missions, story missions, things like that. So what we're going to be talking about here though, so we're going to be talking about the strikes. Everybody else has been doing videos on the exotics, but I'm going to do a video on the exotics later, but right now I want to talk about these strikes. So the first strikes we're going to be talk to, talking about is, I guess this strike name is called the Pyramidian. It's either called the Pyramidian or the Rupture, one of those. I'm not exactly sure. So it seems like the base power levels for all of the strikes is going to be the recommended power is going to be 140 the required power for the nightfall is 230 and the recommended power for the nightfall is 240 so the description of the strike goes on to say this asher mirror requests your presence investigating the main vex pyramid structure on io or low don't know which one it is it soon becomes clear that this is the main conduit for vex activity throughout the solar system and the base power uh, the base of power for this enemy you must negotiate the vast floating platform interior of this voice structure, navigating past laser defenses and, and hordes of Vex foes, including enemies very rarely encountered. After locating the main conduit, you must drop down and engage the Genesis mind of this seed of power. So, I want to let you guys know, I got this information from a Reddit thread. I made an article on it on 3MGLive.com. I'll link all the uh, information in the description of this video. But basically from this mission it seems like we're going to be encountering the vex again this is going to be a vex focused strike and we're going to see the genesis mine like we've seen the hive mine some other mines before and now we get to see the genesis mine so the objective of the strike approach the per uh the pyramidian entrance activate the vex altars there are two vex altars defeat the vex and enter the pyramid and the enemies we're going to encounter are the goblins, harpies, and hobgoblins. I will not be saying anything else in the strike though. I don't want to spoil too much about what's going on in the mission. I don't even want to read it myself. I want to go into Destiny knowing as kind of as little as possible. But at the same time, I got to share this information for you guys. So we're going to move on. I won't say what the last boss is. But I mean, we kind of already know the Genesis Mind is the last boss. But the next mission is the Inverted Spire, or the Cirstein, on Nessus. So, the Inverted Spire. So what it says for this one is, Cabal mining activity on Nessus has unexpectedly woken a powerful Vex presence, and the ensuing conflict across multiple sectors requires Guardian investigation. Your team must access Cabal drilling operation away from the main sectors of this uh, planetoid and wade through any defenses as you uh, search diligently and violently for evidence of modular mind activity. The final showdown occurs all the way down a multiple tiered converted spire where a boss proves that the Vex are a real force to be reckoned with. So I'm pretty sure this inverted spire mission strike is the same strike that we played on the beta. So objectives are investigate the ball, defeat all hostiles, access the conflicts, press forward. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the same mission strike that we played on the uh, on the beta. Enemies encounter cabal, legionary, phalanxes, scions, centur centurions, vex, goblins, minotaurs, and cyclops. So, not much information to be shared there because that was just the same uh, mission strike that we played on beta. So then there's another one. So far that's two uh, two strikes. This is our third strike that we found. Exodus Crash. It appears that the failsafe has been compromised after a contingent of uh, fallen touch down on Nessus and raided a secondary crash site near Exodus Black. Your team is tasked with tracking a series of arc pulses left by fallen weapons in preparation for finding and defeating this raid party and their leader. So, I don't know. It doesn't really give much information on who will actually be fighting. Um, objective, pass through the electrical fields, 
Fly into the base, infiltrate the hideout, gather fallen data, defend ghosts 100%, kill the servitors, the two servitors, and press onward. So, I guess we're going to be fighting fallen since we have to kill servitors and says gather fallen data. So, enemies encountered we have Vex, Minotaurs, Goblins, Fanatics, Hobgoblins, Hydras, Fallen, Vandals, Shanks, Captains, Drags, Sub Bosses, Two Servitors, and an Overcharged Shank. So, I guess Fallen have some presence on Nessus. So I guess the two people who are going to see on Nessus are Fallen and Vex. And is there another? Yep, there is another, another strike. The Arms Dealer. The Cabal Warrior Leader known as Primus Zahn is active in Cabal Controlled Stronghold on the eastern side of the EDZ European Dead Zone for those of you don't know your team is tasked with breaching the sector under cabal command while also dealing with intermittent fallen incursions and working your way to main cargo deck where prime design is said to be located along the way you must neutralize a number of Zahn's trusted brethren and lieutenants expect almost every type of cabal force to be active including thresher ships so thresher ships are those if you played the strike in the beta near those ships that you had to kill that were flying around and attacking you so it seems like this is going to be a really big battle against the uh, Cabal. Objective, overload Prime Zahn system, secure the area, force an explosion, kill Zahn's lieutenant, find Zahn, continue. So I guess there's more to the objectives than shown here. Enemies encounter, will encounter some fallen, captains, vandals, wretches, servitors, shanks, Cabal, Legionnaires, Phalanxes, Scions, Centurions, War Beasts, Threshers. War Beasts are like animals. Uh, they're basically wild animals tamed by the Cabal that attack you in like hordes. Uh, sub Boss, Brachis Nor, Brachis Box, and Zahn's Lieutenant. And is there another? There is another. I think this is the fifth strike in the game. So I'm pretty sure in the beginning of Destiny 1 we had three strikes. So far in Destiny 2 we get five strikes in the beginning. So this is called a Savathun Song. I don't know if I said that right. But it seems there's a mastermind at work inside the depth of the base on Titan. A dark heart that must be scoured so the hated hive can be removed from this place once and for all. He deep into the Aberitum sector battling through revolting secretion filled chambers shattering uh, shattering strange crystals and locating a hidden tunnel into the deepest part of the planet this is where the immense streaker is said to reside head to the source and defeat it objective gain access to the Aberitum hack the door defeat hostiles clear out the hive find the source and I guess this is going to be another hive mission on Titan, Planet Titan. I'm just kind of thrown off on the vast amount of strikes. That's the last strike though, it seems, if I count it right. Let me go back again. One, two, three, four, yep, five strikes we start off with. A good amount of content for the first part of Destiny 2. So that pretty much does it for the Destiny 2 strikes. Not a good amount of info that I'm willing to share because I don't want to spoil it for everybody like I said before already. But at the same time, that's a good amount of strikes. I'm pretty excited to go through all of these and I'm pretty sure that the way they do it before is you get strikes from specific gear from defeating each boss for each strike. So that all of these strikes also mean a lot of gear that we can get. I'm pretty hyped for it. I can't wait to be a part of these strike missions. Um, it seems like it's going to be a ton of fun. Please let me know what you guys think of the uh, think of the strike information in the comment section. Please like and subscribe to the channel for the information that I've provided. This is Keen Duck 7 signing off. Peace.